In this video, we're going to draw the tangent line of a circle in Desmos. So you know the equation of a circle is given by this, where the radius is r. And uh, our job is to come up with the equation for this tangent line, and then draw it into Desmos. So for example, uh, this is our point here. We, as we slide it, oops, hang on, this is our radius. As we slide a back and forth, we, uh, we, we can always draw the tangent line. So our job is to come up with the equation of the tangent line. So back to here. So uh, the equation of a circle is given by this. Let's make y the subject. So um, take away x squared from both sides, um, and then square root both sides. When you square root both sides, you will get the positive version and the negative version. So um, the positive version is this strand here. The negative version is this strand here. Let's, let's forget about the negative version and consider only, only the positive version. Okay, so, so we are only considering the positive version. So we are currently here. So we are just looking at this strand only. So uh, now, um, well, if, if we're trying to come up with the equation of this tangent line, it's going to be of the form y equals mx plus c. We need to work out the gradient. Well, to work out the gradient, we need to differentiate this. We need to find dy by dx. So to differentiate this, imagine the square root as being a bubble to the power of a half, because to the power of a half is square root of something. So uh, imagine this thing as being this, and now we can use a chain rule to differentiate it. So using the chain rule, um, imagine this as being like a bubble. It's inside a bubble. So when you differentiate it, the half comes down, the bubble stays intact, the bubble stays intact, and then the power gets minus by one. So half take away one will be negative a half. And then you've got to times the derivative of the bubble itself. The bubble is this. We've got to times the derivative of the bubble itself. Remember, r is just a constant. It's, um, it's the radius of a, of a circle. So for example, radius three, so the equation would be x squared plus y squared equals nine. This r squared is just a number. It's just like the number nine. It's just a constant. So when you um, when you differentiate this, when you differentiate the bubble, this is a constant, so it disappears. And then the the half, the two is able to come down, so it's negative a half. The x stays the same, and then the power gets minus by one, which will be one. So uh, so that will then give you this. Uh, when you, um, uh, you you now need to um, to tidy this up. So imagine this as being one block times another block and then times another block so in your mind picture this negative a half as being one over the positive the positive version so now um, now now you've got three blocks one two three so this thing this block gets multiplied to the top and then uh, top times top bottom times bottom that's why you've got this two here well anyway if you tidy this whole thing up here this whole thing up it will then give you this so now so now the two twos will cancel each other out this two will cancel out with this two so that will then give you this thing here so dy by dx is given by is given by by this so uh, we want to know the gradient right at this point well at this point the coordinates at this point would be a comma uh, this thing here because remember right from the start of the video the equation of a circle was this um, equals r squared rearrange it to make y the subject so that would be y equals uh, root minus x squared so that's why if uh, the coordinates here would be a across and then this much up this much up so the coordinates here would be given by this well anyway if you want to know the gradients right at this point you would need to put a well evaluate this at x equals a so that would then so you put a into here and a into here so the gradient at this point will be well put a into here and into here so this whole thing here will then become this so that's that's a gradient right at this point okay at a so that's a gradient at a so that's our m we've done m now now we've got to, well, this x stays the same. We've got to work out the intercept. The intercept, this intercept is right here. 
but we don't know where this this intercept is. We need to work out the intercept. So to work out the intercept, well, we know the we know the gradients already. To work out the intercept, you need one particular point on that line. Well, you know one particular point. It's right here. It's at. So this is your x coordinate. This is your y coordinate. So put this into the y. Put this into the x. Um, and then that will then become. That will then become. That will then become. Well, if you put a into the x, that will then become minus a squared. And then uh, y would become this thing here. So now we can work out c. So to work out c, let's uh, let's add this block to both sides. So that will then give us this thing here. And then tidy this up. So imagine, imagine this as being a fraction over one. So imagine it as being a fraction. Get the two denominators to be the same. So here times top and bottom by square root r squared minus a squared, and then r squared minus a squared. So this thing times by itself is just going to be this thing here. And then 1 times this thing will then be this thing. And then now the two denominators are the same. You can merge. You can merge these two fractions together. That will then give you that will then give you this thing here. So the intercept is given by this. So uh, from earlier, from above, uh, we were trying to work out C. Well, we, we know C now. C is this thing here. So we can put this into the C. So the equation of that tangent line is given by this. Well, if you notice, the two denominators, are the, the um, excuse me, the two denominators are the same, so we can merge the two together. So that would then that would then be r squared, take away this thing here, this thing here. So the equation of our tangent line is given by this. So let's punch this into into decimals. So go to decimals.com, go to decimals.com, and then punch in our circle, which is um, x squared. Uh, plus plus y squared equals equals r squared r squared uh, r squared and then you can add your slider so now you can change the radius you can change the radius now add our particle so the particle will be uh, at at a comma a comma and then the height will be uh, square root sqrt, and then it would uh, it was uh, r squared minus a squared a squared. So add our slider, uh, close it off, close it off, and then add a close it off. Hang on, we've got to close this off. Let's close it off. Hang on. Close it off, and then add our slider. So now, as we slide a back and forth, you can see our particle moving back and forth. And uh, we now need to punch in the equation of a tangent line. Well, our tangent line was given by this. So it was um, r squared minus a x. So hang on. So it's um, uh, bracket r squared r. Um, squared minus a squared a no a x it was close it off close uh, divided by square root s q r t and then it was um, r I think it's r squared minus 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 what hang on minus a squared minus a squared. Uh, oh, it looks messy. Hang on. I need to be inside the square root. A squared. So now uh, let me just get rid of the brackets here so it looks nicer. Now as, as we slide A, as we slide A back and forth, it will work out the gradient and it will work out the intercept. Therefore it can draw our tangent line. Um, you can change the radius. It doesn't matter which radius you're working with. So as you slide A back and forth, it will draw the tangent line. Okay.